I can see life moving around in circles. Ethics suspended like beautiful bubbles, vanished by a simple blow of wind. Revelations about the truth are not a mystery. It takes a simple use of the mind. With indignation and frustration, I decided to bring this revelation for a transformation. Africa, the rich continent. Africa, the poor continent. It may sound illogical or paradoxical, but nonetheless, it is factual. For we are rich in minerals and resources, but poor in morals and ethics. We want our situation to change, but we are not ready to change our minds and hearts for that which is good and right for national progress. And therefore, we continue to slumber as a result of our very actions and inactions. I wonder why we are trying to keep a white surface clean in an open area exposed to dust. It is okay to be intelligent, but intellectualism without finance is frustration. We cry for school fees, but still see a sea of people who don't feel or see what we see. The dreams of our graduates are buried in streams of hopeless thoughts we got from a pool of unemployment. So this gives them less hope as they become hopeless as to what the future really holds. And our parents continue to submit meekly to insults in the hands of foreigners, just to get our daily bread. Mahatma Gandhi once said that you must be the change that you wish to see in the world. But Africans have long accepted immorality and corruption to be the norms of daily life. Norms of daily life. Norms. So when we live our lives with ease and peace, with a mind that sees the breeze of genuine success, we dance to the music of the very culture that has buried us. When a renewal of the culture is what will ultimately salvage us. From north to south, from east to west, a wind rose to fly with the dream of Africa, blocked by the walls of corruption and injustice. Ordinary citizens become public officials, and all public officials were once ordinary citizens. It is not the coat that matters, but the man in the coat. The rotation is not a solution, but a change of attitude is. As we move along the road of redemption, challenges will surely tend to vanish our promises into mere wishes of the mind. But let's not give up on the African dream. Let's keep the hope alive. For God will surely send His divine light to clear our path to glory. God's divine wind will move our tears to fill the holes once left in our hearts and make our continent great again. Barack Obama once said that change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for we are the change that we seek. So let's take responsibility and move in unity to restore the dignity of our very humanity. There is no individual transformation without character transformation. There is no national transformation without individual transformation. If Africa must change, then we, the people making up Africa, should first change. Now, my question. Are we going to continue complaining and avoid the all-important decision of changing our very selves? Or do we want to continue suffering? It is our choice to make. My name is Sineti Mwanjo.